so this is where we set up our blog before we start to edit so here's the first page it's the, the basic page this is where you choose your keywords in your blog title so your keywords would be the same as your blog title so let's say we have um, marketing agency Orlando. Florida okay so we have marketing agency in Orlando Florida we're gonna copy this and we're gonna come down we're gonna use that in our description here all right now first we have our URL now our URL can be whatever you want it to be it can be a subdomain of your of your website or you can link another custom domain of yours and we'll go over that in another tutorial now the description what we're going to do at first is we're going to paste our keywords in our description and then what we're going to do is write a short description of our blog so let's say we are your complete solution or your complete digital marketing solution in Orlando Florida okay now also what you can do for a URL you can type your keywords in there as well now because it is a URL you want to take out all special characters and all capitals as well and all spaces now if you do want to use the space you can use a dash instead and it'll work just the same way. I'm going to take this out. Okay. In Florida. All right. So we got that done. Now, right here is where we select the status of our blog. It can be active. Or it can be inactive. We have it inactive now because we're still working on it. Now, you, here you can go to the language. We have Portuguese, English, or Spanish. You can choose which one is your preference. And then this is where we activate or inactivate our back to top button, which we'll see here as we scroll down to the bottom. Okay, now next we'll go here to our advanced settings. This is the space where you can put your Google Analytics code if you have one. And this space is where you put your meta tags or your scripts. So for example, let's say you have a picture um, from your blog and every time you share your blog to social media, you want to show that, um, that same picture. Okay, there's a code you can use for that, it's called a meta tag, and we do have additional tutorials on that that you'll be able to look up later in your virtual office. Now as far as the scripts, that's something different. So for another example, we have a tool called Heat Maps, and this allows you to see where people are clicking on your page. You can copy and paste that code and script here as well. And we'll go through that in another tutorial. Okay, now on this page is where we see our appearance. This is where we change the color, such as the text color, the background color of our blog. Um, we can also change the title color, the font. We can change that here. We can go through the font family and we have all the fonts here you can choose from. The size, the weight, the, the, the width as well. And we can go here and change the body. We can add an image to the background as well. And we can also change the scroll accessories or we can have everything fixed. And this is where you change the color on your back to top button. You can also change the border radius and you can also change the size of it. All right, and that is a basic overview of the general configurations. We'll go more into editing the blog and further tutorials. Thank you.